Hello, this is Dr. Janet Bruno, and today I want to talk about a subject that I get a lot of questions about, and that is the role of artificial sweeteners and your weight. Okay, I want to expose the myths about artificial sweeteners today. For a long time now, actually, artificial sweeteners have been offered to people with diabetes, stating that it's a way to keep their blood sugar under control. And it's also been promoted by those with weight problems as a means to assist with losing weight. The problem is, and this is a real problem, is that there's actually no evidence stating or indicating that artificial sweeteners could actually do either of these two things. In fact, most of the research has shown that chemical sweeteners can actually harm your body. So let's go into that. Research has started to come in showing that contrary to initial claims, artificial sweeteners can actually facilitate not weight loss, but weight gain. Okay, this is important. In a 2008 article in JAMA, which is one of the most respect, respected medical journals, there were several studies that, about sweeteners and weight loss which were reviewed. The review resulted in the conclusion that the different studies indicated that not only were the sweeteners ineffective in assisting dieters, but there were several cases where they induced weight gain. And moreover, the other studies also showed that the evidence about the value of the sweeteners was ambivalent and actually lacked any clear indications that they were useful at all. So this result can actually be attributed to our brain's response to the consumption of artificial sweeteners. There was a really fascinating study that appeared in a, a magazine called NeuroImage, and it utilized MRI technology, and it actually had the ability to show the response of the brains of several women while they were consuming sugar and while they were consuming sucralose, the artificial sweetener. The study actually showed that the sugar highly stimulated certain areas of the brain which are associated with desire and expectation. And on the other hand, when the women ate the sucralose, the artificial sweetener, it actually elicited very little response in that area. And that kind of translated to a feeling of insufficiency or, or, or lack of a fullness. So this lack of satiety or feeling like you are full actually served as a stimulant which made some of the women crave sweets and engage in overeating. Yes, you heard that correctly. Eating the artificial sweetener made, according to the activity in the brain, it made women crave sweets and engage in overeating. This is an important study, and it really mirrors the previous experiments that was shown with the same study with rats who were fed yogurt that contained artificial sweeteners. These rats who were fed yogurt with artificial sweeteners actually increased their weight and body fat. This is, this is important studies for you to understand. Many people go to the artificial sweeteners when they're dieting, and that can actually be a very destructive thing to do. So the results do show that it's really futile to try and substitute sugar with artificial sweeteners. And this, this very same phenomenon is repeated by people who try to substitute a known dietary evil with a quote-unquote healthy version, something that they get from a quote-unquote health store. For example, in lieu of eating a sugary muffin, they may opt for one that's generously sweetened with fruit juices. Or they may take a whole grain pretzel instead of a regular one that's loaded with refined ingredients. It's a situation where you're, you're taking the lesser of two evils, but in the end, you really end up with something that still is not very healthy. So if you really have that artificial, excuse me, if you really have that sweet tooth and you want something sweet, one of the natural sweeteners that's based on herbs called stevia, which can be found actually in just about any grocery stores these days, that is the better option. So there's a lot, this is just one example, but there's a lot of excellent plant-based alternatives. They're perfect food substitutes which can provide you with the dietary satisfaction without all of the disadvantages. Now, I hope you found this useful because this is a sweeteners. Like I said, it's a big topic of discussion and there's a lot of myths out there. So I hope you found this useful. This is Dr. Janet Bruno wishing you a happy and healthy day.